I'm Lindsay from CBC Kids. Hi, I'm Chloe. It's nice to meet you. It was based on a true story. You read fiction and you think, okay, well, that's not happening in real life. When I read Indian Horse, I thought, how could that happen in Canada? So I took action, I read more books, I um, saw speakers on it, and I knew that my school had to have an Orange Shirt Day. The first Orange Shirt Day started in 2013. It was inspired by Phyllis Webstad. Phyllis Webstad went to residential school here in BC. But before she left, her grandma let her pick out one thing from the store an orange shirt for the first day of school. However, when Phyllis Webstad went to the residential school, they made her take the orange shirt off. It's an embarrassment that can the Canadian government allowed that to happen. So, as a Canadian, I feel it's my duty to change it. So how many t shirts have you sold? About 30. 30. It makes me feel really sad how they were treated, and it definitely wasn't fair. This is an issue that we all need to educate ourselves on and know about, and that we need to work together to provide change and reconciliation. I feel there will always be that part of history that people will remember that that happened in Canada, and but I feel eventually one day everyone will be treated equal. We can't make those mistakes again, and we have to make Indigenous people feel honoured and accepted in Canada. So far, Chloe Goodison has sold 30 or more t-shirts. She hopes that the tradition of Orange Shirt Day continues at Heritage Woods Secondary School. For CPC Kids, I'm Lindsay Meng, Port Moody, BC.